What's up everybody, back again with another reaction, and next up I got the Top 10 Hidden Secrets and Famous Logos. It's by the channel Most Amazing Top 10. I'll leave the link to the video in the, in the description below. With that being said, let's get it. Logos are everywhere. Food companies have them, clothing brands have them, even YouTube channels these days have very well-known logos. But have you guys been paying close attention to them? I mean, really close, because a lot of them have messages hidden in plain sight. And after this video, you won't be able to unsee them. My name is Danny Burke, and this is the top 10 hidden secrets in famous logos. Starting off at number 10 now, we have Amazon. They are the number one delivery service in the world. And I know what you're thinking. Bit. I've seen their logo. How is there anything hidden in that? It's literally just the word Amazon with a yellow arrow underneath it. But let's take a closer look at the oh, arrow, yeah, shall we? It, it starts it at the letter easy. A and ends with the letter Z. That is a genius way of subtly showing the variety of products they sell. Basically, if it starts with a letter of the alphabet, they've got it from A to Z. Please send me free stuff now, Amazon. Like they're gonna care about my promo. The little oh, <laughs> thanks for the shout out. <laughs> All right, at number nine now, we have Toyota. This one is insane. So here is Toyota's logo. Pretty simple, right? Well, did you know that every letter of the word Toyota is hidden inside that logo? You've got the letter T, the O, the Y, another O, another T, and finally an A. The whole thing can be achieved with just three simple strokes of a brush. If I was the designer who made this, I'd probably just take the rest of the day off, or the year, maybe even life. You're not gonna beat this one. All right, at number eight now, we have the Nintendo GameCube. A lot of you guys might be too young to have ever played this console, but I imagine you have heard of it. This is a bit of a layered one. At first glance, everyone will see the cube in the middle of the logo. Then, if you look at it a bit longer, you will see the piece coming out of the cube forms a G, which stands for game. Finally, the space between the G and the cube forms a C, which stands for cube. Pretty clever stuff that took me uh, many years to find out about. Like, Last week I found out about it. Coming at number seven now, we have Tostitos. These are a well-known brand of tortilla chips in North America. I don't remember having them in the UK where I grew up, but anyway, they're great. And this is their logo. At first, it looks pretty plain, black on white, with a little splash it of is. color in Two the middle. But like take a closer look chip. at that middle bit. The two T's are actually people. The yellow bit is a tortilla chip, and the red is the salsa dip. I cannot unsee this one. I also can't understand why there's two people holding one tortilla chip. It's a bit weird. All right, at the number six spot now, we have Wendy's. This popular fast food place is known for the smiling red-haired girl on its logo, giving it a very homely feel over its competitors. Well, just to drive that home, they have hidden the word mom on Wendy's collar. As you can see here, logo experts claim this is a subtle attempt to make you see Wendy's and think of home, perhaps like home cooked food. You might never notice it for many years, but it will find its way Very into clever. your subconscious. Coming at number five now, we have the Spartan Golf Club. You guys have to check this one out. This is a golf club's logo, which looks like a person swinging a golf club. The lines that come out look like some sort of increased power, the sort of thing you might see in a car. But if you take a step back from it, the whole thing is actually a side profile of a Spartan soldier. That power bar was the top of his yeah, helmet. This design was by Rich Richard Fronto and has won him many awards. If you're watching this, Richard, good job, mate. Actually, you're probably not watching this, are you, Richard? <laughs> Next up at number four now, we have FedEx. On the surface, this famous shipping company has a very simple uh, logo. It's literally just their the, name, the air purple in and orange. But to see something hidden here, don't look at the words, look at the negative space they create. Between the E and the X is a gap that perfectly forms an arrow. That arrow represents their speed and efficiency. The logo has won a whole bunch of design awards, so it's not much of a secret, but it's still very clever. All right, moving on to number three now, we have the Bronx Zoo. Okay, this one isn't too, too famous famous if you live outside of New York, but it's too good to leave off the list. It's the biggest zoo in North America, and this is their logo, two giraffes and some birds. However, they chose the long-legged mammals for a reason. I don't I often it. say this, but look between their legs. Can you see the buildings? They aren't just any buildings either. They are all taken from the New York skyline, including the Empire State Building right in the middle there. What a clever logo. Good job. Coming at number two now, we have LG. This company is one of the biggest in the world of electronic. Their logo is pretty recognizable wherever you are. After a while, most people begin to notice that those aren't just random lines. The one in the middle is the L, and the one around the outside is the G. More than that, though, is that the L is supposed to be the nose of a face. That little dot is the 
eye and the G makes up the rest of the face and perhaps a winking eye, I guess. I also heard that if you move the L up and spin the whole thing right round, then the logo is a Pac-Man reference. I don't know about that. What do you guys think? Waka, waka, waka. And finally, number one now, we have the Toblerone. This chocolate is eaten all over the world, but many people don't stop to take a look at its logo. Yeah, it's an image of the yeah. Matterhorn Mountain in Switzerland oh, wait, yeah. where the chocolate is made. In the middle of the image, you can it's also see a bear standing up on two legs. This is to symbolize the honey flavor of the chocolate and also the fact that it's made in a place like known as the City of Bears. Well guys, I'm very impressed with all of those. Which one was your favorite though? And would you like a part two of this video? What do you think our logo should be here on Most Amazing Top 10? Let's get talking in the comment section. My name is Danny Burke, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. So yeah, a couple of those I already knew about, you know, they were obvious, but I... Anyway, so yeah, if you like this video, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.